thank you. Thank you. So, I mean, I'm sitting across from Vanessa Redgrave, James Earl Jones, and Angela Lansbury, so that's enough for me. Um, thank you so much for this. Thank you for the way you've embraced me and welcomed me into your community. I am so grateful and so humbled to be in your company. Um, performing in the normal heart is a very profound experience for me. It's the proudest moment in my career. It has transformed me, not just as an actor, but as a human being. Because it taught me something that I never believed in. It taught me that one person can make a difference, that one person can change the world. So thank you to the great, great Larry Kramer. Thank you, thank you, you, you Jewish boy who always thinks that you can make the world a better place. 30 years ago this week, the world was attacked by a virus and Larry Kramer went to war. He picked up his most powerful weapon, his pen, and he wrote a play, The Normal Heart. 26 years ago, with its first production, he lit a fire, and that fire still burns today down at the Golden Theater. Thank you to our towering, visionary genius of a director, George Wolf. Thank you for teaching me to play with fire. And thank you for turning this production into a Molotov cocktail that we can ignite every night. Thank you to Joe Mantello, who, like Atlas, carries us across the stage night after night on his slim shoulders, just burning through the history of this play. Thank you to the bravest ensemble of actors I've ever had the honor to work with. Thank you to Daryl Roth, wrap it up. Thank you to Wendy Orshan, and I'm gonna say it, I've waited a long time. Thank you to my friends Brian Lord and Kevin Eubain, who for 20 years have loved me, supported me, and taken care of me. Joe Mahota, this is ours. Thank you to everyone at CAA. Larry, this is for you, and for all the bullets in your belt. <laughs> 